Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we've got an unboxing for you. It is the Infinity E1X bike seat. Okay, let's get straight into it. I've been waiting 55 days for this Infinity bike seat to turn up. It come from America possibly due to COVID, possibly due to the fact that when it says this way up, there's no address on it. It's actually hidden underneath. Yeah, let's open her up. Cut. Hmm. Too big, even for my camera. This knife is getting very blunt because it won't even cut through. Okay, here we go. First thing we notice is infinity seat infinitybikeseat.com straight out in the box we have um, some stuff very nice we have a free water bottle infinity seat the seat itself and we have um, leather care maintenance first thing you want to see is this seat now this is a very strange seat indeed there's a little story to go with this uh, Kerry Smith, one of my viewers, built an R6 and he was just asking me for some advice and he posted a picture of this seat on the Yolio um, Facebook group and I said, what the heck is that seat? Because it's very weird, but his seat didn't have uh, this middle bit, okay, this comey bit. This is an... Um, a seat I picked out. So his has got holes in it, right? And basically, your sit bones go in the holes on his seat. Um, I contacted them, and they recommended this saddle for me. And this has got like a honeycomb bit where your sit bones are going, and the rest of the saddle takes the weight of your body. It's very, very strange looking very strange looking made in california and there is a manufacturing um date mark i believe that is a date mark so we've got february 20. very interesting now um it's made by a doctor i wanted to test it out because as you know i don't have much luck with saddles um it's very nice leather full grain nice leather and it's got this honeycomb bit stitched into it and as you can see underneath you can see me poking through it so it's just um, like a support yeah I didn't really want a saddle with a hole straight through it because the rain would get my bum wet um, pretty much I liked the look of this one and um, I spoke to Dr Vince we had a chat about how um, what I like riding what my position is how many miles I do, and he recommended this one. This is the E1X uh, version. So what we'll do is we'll get it measured as well so you can see how wide it is. Okay, so let's get it weighed. The E1X weighs in at 286 grams. That feels really nice. It's very thin, I've noticed. Very, very thin. So I've got my tape measure, just under 17 wide and long. Okay, nose to, uh, let's go nose to outside, 27. 27 or about 24 to the middle bit of the cutout. Um, I've never seen a seat like it in my life. Um, you can have different colors here, you can have different color leather now, you can have different color rails. Um, but if you put the rails flat, it's very weird. It's kind of like a V. Look. So uh, I'm looking forward to putting that on. That's actually really well made. I'm actually impressed. A little bit, uh, it's a little bit bunched up in, in that corner. But uh, apart from that, it's really good. It's embossed over here, handmade. Nice. 
I don't know the handmade setup of all. It feels like it, it gives, you know, because you most, well, the way it's supposed to be on around, around it, not not where your sit bones are. Let's very quickly go through the setup because this is quite important. So, um, leg angle should not exceed 150 degrees. No thick padded shorts. They don't always work well with our design. So we've got some uh, how to set it up here. Okay, so I will have a look at that. Right, there's a returns policy. That's where it's going. Dr. Vince is the guy who makes them. So we've got leather care maintenance. It's handcrafted. Uh, use some leather conditioner. Okay. Welcome back. That last bit of the video was corrupt, so I couldn't actually use it. So I'm just filming this uh, end part a few weeks later. Uh, it's on the bike. I'm testing it, and there'll be a video soon. Go here to infinitybikeseat.com if you want to have a look around their saddles or their seats, however you want to call it. You'll notice the red background has gone. That's because uh, I think someone's taken it to the beach. Thanks for watching this uh, little review of the E1X. And... Thanks for your support. Thanks for everyone who's watching, who's um, given me things to answer in the comments. Much appreciated. Look out for the ride review video and we'll see you on the next Chorus House. Take care, bye.